What up everybody, some of you may remember this video I made a while ago showcasing the amazing work of one man who decided to create an AI to rival CSGO's existing bot AI system. Let's do this. <laughs> this AI has been considerably developed since then and I really wanted to put it up to the test of a true professional. If they were to spectate a game of CSGO with bots in, would they be able to correctly identify who was a human player and who was a bot? One man instantly came to mind for this challenge and his name was Warout. Greetings either Warout greets you. Obviously the best man to test all of the hard work and effort put into these bots to make them as human-like as possible. By the way, I used to be a software developer. I've studied AI. I've taken a few college courses in AI programming. So in order to really confuse him, we had to take some extra measures. We started by putting expensive skins on the bots. Who doesn't love skins? They fool everybody in Overwatch cases, right? So they should work in this video too. We varied the pings of everybody in the server. Some had high pings, some had low pings. Very confusing. We mixed up the bot behaviors and difficulties in order to give it that extra flavor of random. The bots also had the ability to have human-like conversations in the chat. They could also respond to various team commands. You could literally control them. Say go A, go B. And there was a hell of a lot of extra features put into this bot, but I literally don't have time to cover them all. This AI had been programmed to a great degree of complication wow. in order to emulate human behavior in as many different scenarios as possible. On top of all of that, we we also had every human player in the game pretending to be a bot, actually apart from one because he was my friend and I didn't actually tell him what was going on properly. But War Owl had no idea how many bots were in the game, how many humans were in the game. In fact, nor did I. But it was a mystery and a mystery for his brain to solve. Let's go. Oh, I can see pings. Should I not look at pings? Because that'll probably help, right? It's working. You haven't told me much, except that some of these are bots and some of these are people, and you want me to decide which. I actually have a little book here to take notes. This is good, though. This is something that I can do and record while my wrist is screwed up. Oh, yeah, I, I, my wrist is done. I can't play games or anything right now. <laughs> I'm screwed. Hi, team. Well, that's not a bot. I'm gonna... Mute voice chat so that it doesn't give anything away because now I know Harry is not a bot. My bad. I might have a team full of bots. I'm not <laughs> I'm not entirely sure who's on whose team. Well that's definitely a bot. <laughs> Zubu's a bot. Just his movement is so weird. Uh Sando with the 4K. This is very human movement. Hmm. A little jerky. That could be like mouse pickups, like low sensitivity. Sando gets an ace first round. I need to take notes, all right? I was taking notes. Who did I decide was a bot? Zubu. Okay, I'm writing it down. The movement was like so obvious. I think Harry is a human. Sando's looking human. Let's watch him this round. He got the ace last time. It is strange to be pre-shooting the, uh, for a bot to know to pre-shoot a smoke like that and also to know how to throw flashes. Um, I would be very impressed if this was a bot. Also, the mouse movement looks pretty human. I'm gonna say Sando's a human. I have no idea how many bots there are and how many non-bots there are. Alright, so when you're buying stuff, he's just, like, not moving anything on his keyboard, right? Not... Moved a little bit left at the start. Super weird. Very weird. Awful movement. Crosshair. Yeah, this is definitely a bot. Just that weird flick to hold the position. Oh, I like how he turned to avoid the flash, though. It's obviously a bot. Like, the movements are very robot. Okay, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I, you might have a little glitch with the spectating, because that was... Okay. Bot. And we've got... Hombre Gordo. So we got one more CT here, Dan, who's just chilling. He's just having a good time. Not moving his mouse at the start. I've seen people do that when they're screwing with their phone and stuff, but that's what one of the other bots did, so. We'll see if he just like all of a sudden flicks to where he's supposed to look at. No, no, pretty smooth. Normally, players are gonna be like moving back and forth, not just holding angles very harshly like that. Um, no offense to this player, but he may just be inexperienced. 
I don't know, actually. I'm leaning toward bot on this one, but it could just be an inexperienced player with his, like, not very good at movement. Honestly, it's so hard for me to even tell who a bot is in this game or not. Claptrap is the name of a robot. So, are you trying to trick me? Is this reverse psychology? He, go he went up the stairs, though, so we know it's not Claptrap from Borderlands. Okay. That jump was impressive if it's a bot. He did hear a footstep at jump. Strange play. I don't know on that one yet. He didn't react to a footstep, which was kind of weird. And didn't check short. Who walks through con without checking short? Shouldn't just be judging their gameplay, though. I should be judging if they're a bot or not. Completely reacted to the footsteps and did a pretty bad shot there. I've actually seen the Counter-Strike bots do bad shooting like that before. So the bot is still playing as if there's a player alive, even though there's nobody alive. That's something you might want to change in the code. He was still like holding angles and stuff and thinking about where somebody could be, uh, even though there was nobody left. So yeah, we know this one's a bot. But war out, how are you not falling for the beautiful skins? I do not throw it that way. So it's an AX You should be calling for a rotate. There's no rotate. There's only one player rotating. That's probably our human player. Who is that? That's Sando. Sando's definitely a human. I actually think Sando is you, Sparkles. I think Sando is you. I'm gonna write, you know what? I'm gonna go for extra points and I'm gonna say Sando is Sparkles. Definitely a bot. Claptrap looks... Oh, man, this is tough. Claptrap seems human to me. I'm, I'm not, like, 100% on the T's yet. I think I have the CTs down except for Den. I'm actually gonna act like a little bit of a bot as well, just to throw him off a tiny bit. Where is our bomb? All right, this is a bot. <laughs> I think he messed up a little bit. I'm sorry. I think I caught... Uh, what is this? Get the f*** down from there! <laughs> I think he might know that this guy's a bot. I'm trying to I'm trying to push him up the stairs. It's not happening. Minimal equals bot. Your bot is stuck. He's he's having trouble. Keeps his crosshair too low. Light off pro. Raise that crosshair to head level, buddy. Doesn't move it straight, moves it diagonally. Okay, so if light off pro can press the button to take the, the bomb from him. This feels like a human pretending to be a bot. So I don't know if you guys are trying to, to trick me. <laughs> He's on to us. I haven't decided yet on card or light off, bro. Six and four right now. That's not, if you have bots that know how to do smoke lineups, that's impressive. And it was also the right time to do that based upon where the team's going. And I'm wondering if you were like trying to trick me by having different um, levels of bots, like different levels of programming. Yes, that is exactly what we're trying to do. I think card's a human. Well, he's throwing this at the start of every round, which is kind of weird. It's good spray transfer. Heck yeah. <laughs> ah, the bot type's nice shot. I like that. Well, he knows where he is because he heard the sound. That felt like a... That felt like a human thing to do, but it's kind of weird that he didn't look at that angle. There's a few I'm not 100% on. I would just... I would be surprised if you had so many humans. That's what I'm surprised about because I've only pegged four bots. Horrible crosshair positioning, by the way. <laughs> Just atrocious crosshair positioning. You notice he consistently is moving at diagonals and not straight lines. Or I guess a diagonal is a straight line, but you know what I mean. Good luck, Mr. Card. I think this is a legit person because their ping is so low. Yeah, and the movement, it definitely looks very, very human-like. Cards. <laughs> I think this is a person, but this person is cheating. <laughs> I think this person is cheating. Um, that was weird. I don't know if that's a ping thing, but it felt like he was shooting before they peaked. Like, wall hacks. That looked like wall hacks to me. Now, this is not bot behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in a smoke with a flash out. Getting ready to Stewie 2K through it is not bot behavior. That is actually Sparkle's behavior. <laughs>
I hope I'm throwing him off with my big move, newbie, newbie plays. Buying a taser, not bot behavior. Gosh, this, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fixated on this player because his crosshair positioning, his movement and stuff is so bad that it makes me think he's a bot. But it could just be an inexperienced player. He's not checking positions or anything. I am actually such a bot, I'm like the bottom of the team right now. I actually just Kobe'd myself. I just, <laughs> I just Kobe'd myself. This is very strange. <laughs> I cannot tell if that is a bot or if that is an inexperienced player. And it's killing me. With the 8K, just bought a Glock. Okay. I am officially saying this is a bot, just because of the weird smooth movement. I got everybody down, but I could be wrong on some of these. There's two that I'm not sure of, so let's watch those. So the ones I'm not sure on is Den and Claptrap. Den is gone. Well, it's interesting that an, an account just got back ban mid-game. Well, we'll never learn. <laughs> we'll never learn that one. Some of these are bots, like, I'm really impressed with it. This feels like a bot. It's tough to, it's, I don't know, it's just really tough to tell, inexperienced player or bot, but I guess he's hitting his shots, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put down bot for this. Six bots and four humans. So I put the humans down as Harry, Sando, Den, and Card, and the rest were bots. And I put down that Sando was Sparkles, but Harry could also be Sparkles based on the, some of the plays. Harry would put his human. Let's watch him. Oh, his movement's a little body. That was, oh gosh, I may be wrong about Harry. Are you gonna tell me at the end that they were all bots? That's the trick, War Owl, they're all bots. Oh, he stopped the type. There's no way you write that into a bot. There's no way you write that into a bot to stop the type. The only one I wasn't 100% sure of is Den and he's gone. So I'm gonna leave him as human. Although if he was a human, he could just rejoin. If something went wrong with the bot, it may be tough to add him again with like the same name or something. This is the classic CS bot behavior when you just like go crouch in a corner and then like really slowly move your mouse everywhere. He's gonna have to think I'm a bot, right? <laughs> He's gonna have to. Harry's, what is he gonna save? He's just gonna save. Did I put this as a human? Maximum bot movements coming in to confuse him. Why is he moving weird and slow? And running into the. You gotta be kidding me. Is this actually a bot? <laughs> He's gotta think I'm a bot after that. Okay, this 100% looks like a bot. You guys are messing with me. Or is it a human pretending to be a bot? You wouldn't do that, would you? I'm going ultra bot mode now. Just gonna try no scope. Alright, that little movement looked very human. Oh, uh, that was did not look human. <laughs> look at that no scope. <laughs> what? I am now not convinced that Harry is is human. No bots here, but only you. That's something that a chat bot would say. Is he stopping to type? Yeah, he's stopping to type. This is a human pretending to be a bot and trying to be clever about it. I'm gonna say it's a human pretending to be a bot and trying to mess with me. <laughs> yeah, we win. These are my final thoughts. I think the humans were Harry who was trying really hard to pretend to be a bot. You got me. Sando, who I think is Sparkles. In fact, not me, but I'll take the compliment because he's really, really good. Den, I think he was a human. I think it's strange that he dropped. That's the only one I'm not 100% sure of. And Card, who I think is a human as well. For the bots, I think they're Zubu. I was 100% convinced. The NYX one, which I was 100% convinced. Uh, Ombre Gordo, I was 100% convinced. Minimal, I was 100% convinced. Claptrap and Light Pro, I thought that they were bots, but I wasn't 100% convinced. Those were the ones that threw me a little bit, but I'm putting them down as bots. <laughs> oh no, I think he's actually getting all of them really, really right. <laughs> he got me, Harry Human, really pretending to be a bot. That's so funny. Oh, you were Harry. I was wrong about you. I thought you, I, oh, I thought you were Sando, but you were Harry. You were trying way too hard. What an absolute legend War Out was for doing that. He absolutely smashed it, to be honest. Proud of him. All his CS knowledge coming in clutch. Make sure to subscribe to. The War Owl at YouTube.com.
That's my email, I shouldn't say that. Hey guys, make sure to check me out at youtube.com slash thewarabble. Thanks for inviting me, friends. There, that was like super awkward and weird, that'll work. It definitely works. Huge shout out to War Owl for being involved in this video. Honestly, it was so much fun. And thank you everyone so much for watching. If you want someone specific to spot the bot next time, let me know in the comments. Big fat like on the video would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy, peace. Yeah.